so good. It's good. What do you have? That was a caramel slice. This. It's like a biscuit and caramel and fudge. This. This is lemon. So again, biscuit. Oh, this is white macadamia. This is white macadamia chocolate and biscuit. This is the lemon. Biscuit, lemon, crumble. Almond crumble. Almond crumble. And then this is a salted caramel. I think it's like a brownie. Oh, I'll bite this one too. Yeah. That's a brownie. <laughs> is it good? With salted caramel. That's really good. Oh. That's really good. All right. Now that we fed ourselves, time to get on the road to those wombats. Yep. After you lick your fingers. Yep. After stopping for lunch, we enjoyed the scenery that our drive gave us on the way to the Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary. Maggie has been following the Sleepy Burrows on social media for some time now. While planning our vacation, we found out that the sanctuary was outside of Canberra, and not too far from where we were staying. We asked if a visit was possible during our time there. While the sanctuary is not open to the public, they do on occasion allow visitors to come for a monetary donation. This helps offset the day-to-day -day expenses and future upgrades to the wombat enclosures. Ourselves and another couple from Switzerland were there on this day. We started by getting a tour of all the outdoor habitats. The different areas are for wombats in different stages of rehabilitation. The heat from the day kept the wombats down in their burrows, so we did not see any outside. So what we do, if you can see they've all got a, a gate or whatever. Yeah. So at night we put everyone to bed. The wombat that we want to leave, because this is soft releasing here, the wombat that we want to leave We'll open the hatch and then we open all the perimeter gates. Once they get out in the bush, the call of the bush is really strong. And they turn, uh, even if we've had them from this young, they'll attack us if we go near them. So they do turn, they don't like us forever. It was interesting to see how they transform the property to rehabilitate and to protect the wombats while they are healing and to protect them while they are learning to be wombats. Now we head inside for some fun. Meet Full Stop and Moonshine, two of the younglings at Sleepy Burrows. They enjoy rum scratches. lot of rump scratches. scratches. Belly rubs sometimes too.
Two kangaroo joeys were being taken care of while we were at the sanctuary, so we finished our visit with a little snuggle. We are thankful for the experience that we had at Sleepy Bros Wombat Sanctuary. The hard work and love for these animals is evident.